Well, there's a, there are two ways to look at it. Improvement throws up. Uh, every success has its sour grapes that it throws up. Um, as, you, as you tighten the news around corruption, electoral corruption, uh, especially internally within the electoral management body, it manifests in, in what then happens outside. The power of the voter has increased, mm -hmm. which was not what it used to be. So the voter has more say now. So before now, like uh, Barista Uzi said, you could just get an INEC official to help you do the results. People don't need to vote. In fact, some unscrupulous INEC officials hawk ballots and results, which they still try to do now, you know. And then, but now, vote buying is a consequence of the power of the voter increasing. So you now have to go to the polling unit to give the voter money to vote for you. Because if he doesn't vote for you at the polling unit level, you have lost. There is nothing anybody I, ne anybody I ne can do for you anymore. In, today, in today's electoral process, the electoral management body is an onlooker, in, in quotes. The power has gone to the voter. So you now see vote buying. So what do we do to respond to vote buying is something that is a big, is, an is work that we are still doing. Now, for campaign financing that Fit had talked so you know, eloquently about, the, what we are contending with is not the law, it's impunity. Okay. And, and I often say this, it has nothing to, it's just that if I, if I flout this law, what will happen? Mm. Yeah, so there's no enforcement. So, I, no, 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 one no, that's what I'm saying. It's not just for election. It's, it's an attitude that we carry everywhere. That nothing will happen. Look at this. Once consequence came on this, this spraying of the Naira notes. Mm. Go to parties now. Everybody is, you know, people now say, okay, you know, they are, they, at least they are responding to the consequence management that we saw for that. So, now, the actors in the political space, the politicians themselves, they know this law. There is a, the, there is a breach, even in 2023. You go and take money from foreign, you know, foreign donations. Yes. What does the law say? The law says you can't spend you can't that money. That you have to bring the money and domicile it with INEC. The money that you took from outside. They know. It's not as if they don't know. They collect the money, they spend it, they even address a press conference. So who's, who's responsibility to prosecute? That's the point that uh, Faith made. The Police Act says that the police should enforce all laws. It didn't say what kind of law the police should enforce. But what has happened is that we have made a Christmas Day law and a Salah Day law out of electoral laws. So crimes committed during election are special crimes that need INEC to prosecute. INEC will be the one to prosecute it. So the police will gather, will come together and hand over case files to INEC. And INEC will in turn prosecute. So, uh, please be, 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 be clear. Let's, let's, let's get you clearly now on this Christmas and Salah laws. These are not laws that are enshrined in the Electoral Act or in the Constitution. No, what I'm saying is that yes. murder, if somebody is killed on election day, mm -hmm. I, did, I don't know that it has been taken out of, it's no longer murder, it is, it is a electoral offense. Murder is murder on, on whether any, any day, any day. So why should the police specialize crimes that are committed on election day? On election day, that's my point. And from our comfort zone, we are advocating the setting up of electoral offenses. But do they really know that it's it's it, the onus is on them, really? No, it's, 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 it's part of the game that is part of the game that is being played. So. The police will tell you that uh, INEC did not fund us. INEC, we are not, INEC, did not, INEC does not fund any, any police for election. Mm -hmm. It is the national security advisor that all of them submit their election expenses to. 
INEC only provides stipends to people, policemen who are working because their own people will be eating on election day. Yeah. They cannot starve hmm. those who support them. So they give them stipend of 1,000 naira. But when you see them address the press for their own incompetence, what do they say? They tell you they push the blame. Now, for prosecution, what do they do? They say, oh, you know, the Electoral Act does not uh, uh, put the onus on us. I think it's to prosecute. But uh, this contention needs to be cleared. That mm -hmm. there is no... The, even though we are trying to specialize crimes committed on Electoral Day, the existing laws already have taken care of toggery, mm -hmm. have taken care of voter inducement, treating. They are all constitutionally determined issues, whether it's the penal or, or what do you call it? Uh, 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 what's the other code now? So, but uh, the, the challenge for us is that we have made a fetish of elections in a way that has put it to look like if I commit a crime during election, mm. I have to be treated specially. So, somebody with dangerous weapons and the person is arrested. Immediately after election, the person is released. Let us do a census, a, a, a count of crimes committed during election and see the level of prosecution. Okay. The, so all I was talking about is impunity. Campaign finance is not a challenge of the law. It is more a challenge of uh, what Claire talked about, which is the determination for consequence management in that area, which doesn't mm. matter.